At four, we are digging deeper into the fentanyl crisis plaguing our communities. Two Portland teenagers recently died after taking pills that police believe were laced with fentanyl. And now local doctors are weighing in. Fox Hope's Kendra Kent is live in studio with what we've learned about this. Kendra? Yeah, Wayne, that's right. And I spoke with an ER doctor with Randall Children's Hospital today, and he said so far the hospital has not seen any kind of increase of teens coming in with fentanyl overdoses or poisoning. But he does say that in the wake of these tragic deaths, it is something that the hospital and the emergency room are monitoring through the state's poison center, which tracks these cases around the state. Fentanyl is a powerful synthetic opioid that is around 100 times stronger than morphine and usually prescribed for pain management for cancer patients. That's according to the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration. And the CD says in, CDC says in 2019, synthetic opioids like fentanyl accounted for more than 70% of all opioid-related deaths. Dr. Ofar Nadler is the medical director for the Randall Children's Hospital emergency room. He told us that taking two too much fentanyl, whether purposely or accidentally, can be deadly in just minutes. Fentanyl, like other narcotics, uh, cause respiratory depression, and the main fear is that you stop breathing. Your brain does not tell you to breathe anymore, and you die of lack of oxygen. And Dr. Nadler says the hospital has seen other alarming trends among teenagers regarding opioid use. He says there's been an increasing number of teens coming to the hospital after purposely overdosing on drugs and attempted suicides. Then there are those who think a pill or two can't hurt, but then they realize they are hooked. I see a lot of uh, kids that are hindered a pill by a friend or somebody in school and tell them this will, will get you high or this will make you feel good and they don't necessarily know what's inside and then it does become um, addictive and they return to the source and then are asked to pay for it uh, and produce a whole cycle of addiction. Now the Randall Children's Hospital wants to remind parents to keep their medications locked up and out of reach or sight of children and teens. They also encourage people to properly dispose of medications that they are no longer taking. Reporting live in studio, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon. Okay, thanks Kendra.